Ambisonics is the way sound may be broadcast in future with an added dimension. Today we broadcast a one-dimensional sound image, stereo, or a two-dimensional sound image, surround sound. And if you have a surround sound system, you'll know that you're surrounded essentially by a group of loudspeakers approximately at the height of your ears. If we want to go better than that, we have to add to the sound the dimension of height. And to do that, we have to add more loudspeakers. But this may not necessarily mean broadcasting more channels. So when we broadcast in stereo, we just use two channels. When we go to surround sound, we need at least three more. When we want to add the height information, we have to add a lot more channels and perhaps a lot more layers. And we might need to use all of these. The ambisonics approach is different. Instead of that, you provide just four signals, which are interpreted by the receiver to give us any number of loudspeakers signals that we need. That's the basis of ambisonics. So using four channels, we can do ambisonics, which captures a three-dimensional sound field. But with four channels, the results aren't quite as good as we would like. Uh, this is called first-order ambisonics, using only four channels. We've done some research into higher orders, and what we're hoping is that by extending to higher orders, we get better three-dimensional uh, spatial sound fields. The problem is when you go to these higher order ambisonics, you need more channels. So instead of four, it might be 16, or it could be 32 for really high order. Then we've lost that attraction of using only four channels to serve all the audience. There's another factor we have to take into account, and that is the large portion of the audience that's listening on only two loudspeakers. This three-dimensional sound field is, is great, but we have to be able to reproduce something over two loudspeakers. Ambisonics doesn't really address that very well, not in the same way as we do with mixed down coefficients for five channel surround into stereo. So we would have to add something to ambisonics to deal with that, that compatibility issue. There may be other ways of doing it, discrete channels and so on. Um, that's the next stage of our work. We're looking at ambisonics. If that doesn't do the job, we look at something else, then we look at something else to find what is the best way of improving quality, giving a better experience to the audience, adding this third dimension. So what will be tomorrow's sound system? Will it be ambisonics or something else? Time will tell. <laughs>